Hey guys, it's Jamie and I'm here with my next pregnancy update vlog. Uh, very excited to talk to you guys. I believe I'm talking about weeks 30 to 33. Uh, the day that I'm filming this, I'm still in my 33rd week, getting ready to in a few days change into my 34th week. <laughs> eight months oh my goodness gracious time is flying by i cannot believe i i think we are if i'm right seven approximately seven weeks away from our due date um holy crap <laughs> it's crazy it's gone by so so fast um a lot of girls have told me though from here going forward like I'll feel like time stops because it's you're so uncomfortable and all that and I am starting to get a little more uncomfortable um, but I'm not at that place where I'm like can she please get here I'm not there yet um, so I will just let's see I'll tell you how I've been feeling and then tell you about some doctor's appointments and anything else that's been going on um, since my 30th week, I have been feeling a little more uncomfortable because I feel like I've gotten bigger. Um, I feel like just in like a two week time span, my stomach has like popped out more. Um, I still do feel like I'm carrying the baby all in my stomach. Um, knock on wood, I haven't had any issues or anything. Like I, I still feel pretty good, but I feel like the baby is all out front. Um, I don't feel like I've gained anything in my face yet that can come. Um, swelling hasn't happened yet, which I know can come. Uh, my hands haven't swelled at all. Um, all I'm literally just baby. <laughs> and my feet are still swelling from time to time. It just depends. Like the other day I was at work and Mindy looked down and she was like, whoa. And I'm like, oh my gosh, look at my ankles. <laughs> it just depends. Um, I never know when that's going to happen. Uh, but other than that, feeling pretty good. I definitely think um, I've had more indigestion lately, um, which is definitely, it comes and goes, um, but it's more than it was before. Um, it's probably, I'd say, out of seven nights, five nights that I feel like I have that. Usually it is at night, not typically during the day, sometimes around lunchtime, um, and I just take a couple of Tums, and that has helped, and I hope it continues to help. Um, so let's see, besides the indigestion, um, my feet swelling a little bit, um, I definitely feel bigger, it feels a little harder um, just maneuvering like in and out of the bed when you have to get up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom like 25 times. Um, I feel sometimes like I have to take my leg and like try to swing my body up. One night my stomach was actually hurting a little bit and I think it's grow the growing pains, it wasn't like crampy or anything like that. Um, I woke Wes up. Uh, cause I was moving around a lot and he actually got up and like hoisted me up. I was like, I just didn't think I had it in me that night. <laughs> um, I am feeling random pains in my stomach. A lot of times it's the ex only exercise I'm getting right now is I'm trying to go for walks a couple times a week. Um, and sometimes when I walk where, where she's positioned, um, which the doctor told me she is basically head down, feet, head down, <laughs> feet up. Um, and sometimes I think when she turns her head or something hits down, down in that lower region and it'll be a little bit painful, not painful, like, like I can't handle it, but painful enough that I stop walking or if I'm walking with Wes, I kind of just grab him for a second and I'm like, Oh, that's a weird pain. And it's almost like she shifts and everything's okay. Um, let's see. I can't really, Oh, and I just, I do feel like, um, you had like ligament pains in the beginning when your stomach starts getting bigger and I think that's back a little bit um, which is fine but sometimes I can just feel that it's not a stomach ache it is yeah I feel like uh, I feel like it's my body continuing to expand um, I've had a little bit more congestion lately which is also pregnancy related or could very well be Virginia fall weather I don't know um, but I have noticed that and I'm like huh I think that might be pregnancy related <laughs> um, my breakouts have gotten better uh, I'm not a he I'm not a fast healer so if you see something over here these are old old breakouts from when I had the hormonal stuff going on. I feel like, knock on a whole lot of wood, that my, my face has gotten, um, the hormonal acne has gotten under control or it's going away for right now, so that's great. A lot of you have given me compliments on my hair and I appreciate it and I'm doing nothing different. The only thing is, is that when you're pregnant, 
and I don't know if this is all girls or most girls, but when you're pregnant, you stop shedding sometimes. And I probably stopped shedding weeks ago and forgot to mention it. Um, like I shed a little bit, like a few pieces of hair. If I showed you pre-pregnancy how much I shed, you'd be like, oh my God, she loses so much hair. How does she even have hair, right? I mean, hunks of it. So right now it's thicker. Um, and this is, I didn't freshly wash this today. So it's, uh, but she is thicker. I can tell. Um, it is nice though when you look at your like cream tile floors and you don't have like, you know, a, a hair doll down there just waiting to be like, hi, hello. Cause that's just disgusting how much hair I lose. But post baby, I will probably lose double time hair. I think you've probably seen girls or heard your friends talk or had, you know, your, you guys, um, be like, oh my God, I'm, I'm going bald. Like I'm losing so much hair after having a baby. Supposedly it's natural and it's what happens. You stock it up and then when the baby comes, you lose it all. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I can't. Another thing, I'm more and more out of breath. I think she is bigger. Obviously she's bigger. Um, but I get out of breath a lot easier now than I did before. Um, which is no big deal. It's fine. Uh, trying to think of any other physical things to talk about. I don't think there is. Um, I am okay of course I ran out of space and had to start again um but yeah physically I think that's it I'm I have days where I don't sleep that great um sometimes I just get really comfortable and it's like ah oh, this is great and sometimes it's like my pillow placements off because guys I'm sleeping in like like a cake like a like I'm in the valley <laughs> and there are mountains of pillows I sleep with two body pillows and probably five to six regular pillows it's crazy because when you're pregnant you never sleep flat you I haven't slept flat since April <laughs> I'm like what um but yeah some nights I sleep better than others um I've only had one night where I woke up at 5 a.m with like 10 to 5 with like a ton of stuff on my mind about things to do and it wasn't baby some of it was baby related but some of it was like our life related like we have rental property and um random stuff. I just woke up with like, I need to go downstairs and clean out the refrigerator. Maybe that's nesting. I don't know. <laughs> and, um, make a to-do list for the rental property and make a to-do list for this and that. And it's like, seriously, girl, like relax. Um, I do feel like I have more days now where I'm starting to like hit a wall where I just, I'm, I'm done. Like at night at a certain time, I'm like, okay, I'm done. I feel like I've unplugged myself and I have to go straight to bed. Um, I read that that is normal this, this late in pregnancy that you can kind of start feeling more, um, more tired and exhausted and worn out, which, you know, hello. And I'm trying not to beat myself up when I have days where I just want to lay around. Um, which last Sunday I was feeling just tired, exhausted and off. And I laid down for most of the day and I felt guilty about it. And Wes is like, but your body needs it. Why do you feel guilty? And I'm like, I don't know. Cause no one's making me feel guilty but myself. Um, okay, I'm gonna go over, sorry, if you can hear dogs, Barkley's like cleaning his paws cause he, poor thing, he broke a nail. My poor baby. Anyway, so 33 weeks along, I'll just tell you where the baby is. Um, according to babycenter.com, the baby weighs a little over four pounds and has passed 17 inches. <laughs> I feel like pretty soon the length is gonna stop. She's gonna stop growing in length. Um, and it says that she could be about the size of a pineapple. So that's pretty cool. Um, and I'll go through the little thing, like, with how far along am I, how I'm feeling, all that. So I'm 33 weeks. The baby size, like I said, is a pineapple. Um, total weight gain. Okay, so I've had two doctor's appointments since I last saw you guys. I am up a total of 19 pounds from the start. Um, the doctor still says... Yes, girl. The doctor still says that's a good amount of weight. Um, I feel like it's a good amount because I feel like I'm toting it all in my front. Um, but I could stand, I mean, I still need to gain more weight as she gets bigger. Excuse me. I had to let that little diva out. Um, as she continues to get bigger, I will gain weight. And I think from what I read, the weight that I gain from here on out should be going directly to her. Um and fluid but like her so that's good um, I want her to be a healthy baby but I don't want her to be like a 10 pound baby her daddy was almost 10 pounds let's all take a minute there we go we took a minute we hope that this baby is not a 10 pound baby okay 
<laughs> um, maternity clothes, absolutely. Um, and still wearing non-maternity stuff, which is pretty cool. I did find out like a shirt the other day that was just in a one size larger and it's long enough and it fit and it was cute and I was like, yes, it's non-maternity too. That's pretty cool. Stretch marks, not yet. No. <laughs> um, I thought I saw some the other day, but they're, and it could be that that's what it is. They're, it looked like light little bruises on my side. Um, but it's been a few days and nothing's happened. They're kind of going away. But who knows? I can't really control that. Uh, sleep, I've already talked about that. Um, pretty, pretty good. Still rolling from side to side. Uh, best moment this week? Well, I think um, just feeling her move, the big movements, has been pretty awesome. But best moments I've had um, in the last three weeks is that we had a 3D ultrasound. And we got to see her and hear her heartbeat like a ton. That was pretty cool. I'll talk to you about that in a minute. Um, miss anything? Yeah, I mean, of course I missed some stuff. Um, gosh, Jade's driving us. Uh, I missed the other night having a glass of red wine because I really wanted one. Um, but obviously I didn't have it, but I missed, you know, having it. I missed the ease of just grabbing a deli sandwich and not thinking twice about it. Um, which will, you know, happen soon. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm feeling better about all that because I have seven weeks left. So, you know, what are you going to do? Um, movement, yes, she has lots of movement. Um, and I love the big movements, which is pretty cool when you see your stomach totally move and you're like, what? <laughs> it's an alien in there. Food cravings. I'm still on the sweets. Um, it's not as dramatic as it was before, but still loving my sweet stuff. Um, but nothing else. Like, when, when am I going to want pickles and ice cream at the same time? I don't know. <laughs> um, anything make you queasy or sick? No, I did get really uncomfortable when Barkley broke his nail. If you guys have dogs, you know when they break a nail down to the quick, they bleed a lot. And when I saw that, and I was like, oh god, I feel a little, mm. Um, have you started to show yet? Uh, yeah, I'll show you my mom. She got them big. It is a girl. Labor signs, not yet. If I have them, I don't know. My doctor asked me the same thing. I'm like, I don't know. I, have, I don't think so. Um, belly button in or out, she's still in, but I don't know for how long. Wedding rings, on and off, it depends on the day. I didn't even, they're downstairs by the sink, um, I have a container for them, but I didn't even try them today, but they have been a little snug, like all three of them, but sometimes I just wear my band and it's fine. Uh, mood, I feel good, I feel happy, um, I feel a little overwhelmed with some stuff to, that we have to do, but I feel like that's normal Jamie feelings. Um, and I'm looking forward to, I don't know, anything new she wants to throw at me, I guess. <laughs> and finishing up the nursery. Okay, so let's just go back real quick. I'll just tell you. So I had the two doctor's appointments. They were just checkups, no ultrasounds. Um, she's measuring on time. Um, everything with me looks good. I'm up 19 pounds total, which is fine. Um, I have one more ultrasound coming up. Um, in another week or so and then after that I go every week for checkups uh, that being said we did have a 3d ultrasound it was a gift from my parents it was a lot of fun the four of us went and I mean if you guys haven't experienced that it is pretty cool because it really puts into perspective that there's a freaking real baby in there um, she was moving like crazy I couldn't feel a lot of it um, she wanted to have her little hands up here uh, she opened her eyes, which I didn't realize babies could open their eyes in there. I must have missed that in my books because I didn't realize that. She opened her mouth. We saw her tongue. <laughs> we saw her tongue. It almost looked like she licked her hand. Um, and she was almost trying to get the umbilical cord near her mouth, which the tech said that all this is normal. He said from what he could see that like my inside, my fluid, my everything looked, looked healthy. I mean, he's not a doctor, but he's been doing this forever. Um, so I was like, thank you. He's like, you get a lot of water, don't you? And I'm like, well, yes, I do. Thank you so much. Um, but she was, she, she did this a lot and we had to move, we adjust her a little bit, but she did cooperate. Um, you saw her hands, saw her feet, her cheeks. And while I know that babies pop out, and in my mind, a lot of babies pop out and they look like little old men. They just do. Um, <laughs> but what we saw in there... Like, the shape of her nose is not mine. 
the shape of her nose is her daddy's and the shape of her lips um like I don't have a very defined top lip I mean it goes in like a tiny M but Wes's is more defined um it had a more def she has a more defined top lip it looks like she had she's gonna look like him you guys it's gonna be funny uh but I do know babies pop out sometimes once it once they start resembling a parent um or a relative within a few weeks or a few months they could totally change so uh but it was really cool to see that we had a lot of fun with that um, and everything about her matched up with, because they said, you know, we're not doctors, we don't diagnose, but we do see stuff from time to time that we need to alert you or alert your doctor about. And they didn't seem to think anything was, you know, so that's cool. Um, as far as I've had, I've had some showers, that's been great. I had a girlfriend one, my friend Heather threw, it was fabulous, it was my best girls, and... We got some great stuff. It was just a really great day. Um, it was like a lunch, but a shower. So it was really nice. And then my mom's side of the family got together. We had like a big dinner, um, which happened to be a shower as well. But I wouldn't really, I don't know if we call them a shower, call it a shower. But um, I mean, we got gifts and it was about us. But it was a whole family. So to me, it was like a, a nice family get together before the holidays because not all of us can always be together for the holidays. Um, so that was pretty cool. And the baby's nursery is painted. The board and batten wall is done. The light has been hung. He is downstairs right now working on the chair that we have. And then her dresser's from Ikea, so he's going to put that together this week. So nursery should be getting there. At least the big stuff. I don't have anything to decorate the walls with yet, like pictures and stuff. I need to get on that because there's a few prints I need to order from Etsy um, and off a couple blogs. I need to really focus on that. But that's where we are. I feel like we're in a pretty good place. I think by Thanksgiving, I want everything done. I want her clothes washed. I want stuff on the walls. Um, by December 1st, I want to just be like, I want my bag packed. And December 1st, I want to be like, she can come. I mean, I know she could come any day, but by the 1st of December, I kind of want to be like, okay, the house is clean. The bag is packed. Her room is done. The dogs are taken care of. Let's watch some Christmas movies and put our feet up. Is that going to happen? I don't know, but that's the goal. Thank you guys so much for being with me for this journey. Um, it's not over yet, and uh, I can't wait to share more. Yeah, and I guess that's it. Uh, if you have any questions, be sure to let me know below. I'm happy to answer just about anything, unless it's, you know, <laughs> I don't know. I'm happy to answer any of your questions, but um, thank you guys. Thank you for your love and support. I love you all, and I will be back very soon with another video. Bye. Okay, for some reason, I always, like, forget to show you my bump. So, some of the lights are out. I closed down shop. I'm going to step back and show you what I look like at 33 and 3 quarters weeks pregnant. Can we see that? <laughs> um, yeah, I just feel like I am normal. <laughs> like, I am normal through here. I... <laughs> Yeah, these have gotten a tiny bit bigger, but nothing crazy. Um, but this is where it is. I mean, she is large and in charge, and you can feel like she's really hard right here. My stomach is. And um, they said when she's when it's like this, this is her back and her butt. So this is, I'm probably patting her butt right here. But it is so hard. And she'll shift around. But, um, yeah, I hope you can see that. <laughs> She's big. I totally have the curved back thing going on right now because trying to lug this big old baby around. But okay, that's the bump. Thank you again for watching. Bye!